Hello guys, welcome back to another video, and today we're going to be, well, we're going to be doing a few things. Well, two things. Uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to be making it so uh, there are actually teams and not just teams that we created. Uh, because, well, uh, one of you, um, I don't really know how to uh, pronounce your name, uh, Nicola Nicole Gaming. I will link uh, his channel down in the description below, but... He showed me how to, um, uh, actual teams, <laughs> because I didn't understand, because I thought they were, like, deleted or something, so, uh, I made this script, where it actually, like, added a team for you, which is pretty weird, um, but, uh, yeah, he helped me out, so I'll link that down in the description below, um, you guys should go check him out, and, uh, yeah. So, let's actually get right into this, so. Oh, also, we're going to be um, adding welds, so. Um, when you place builds, and you um, run your boat, it'll actually, like, weld together. Like, uh, let me just quickly show you. Uh, so, if I, like, build a structure, like, some stairs or something, I don't know. Yeah, okay, some stairs. These are some nice stairs. If I click launch, they fall apart. So, I'm going to be fixing that and actually making it so they stay together. And, uh, yeah. So, let's get uh, right into this. So, um, we should actually first add the team. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go into model. Go in... Click on this thing right here in the advanced. It'll say service. Click on that icon. It might look a little different to you guys, but this is how it looks for me. So you just click on that icon. Then go to teams and click insert. Uh, and Nicole, Nic Nicola, Nicole Gaming um, showed me how to do this. Uh, so shout out to him again. Um, and uh, yeah, so in here we can add a team. Let's do white team first. And it's already white, so that's nice. Also, we can just duplicate this. And red team. Oh. There, red team. And blue team. So, we can get rid of this part. Um, actually, we can just get rid of the whole script. Yeah, we can just get rid of this whole script. Okay. Well, now that we have that, we can actually uh, configure this stuff. So this is the white team. So in here, we scroll down, go to, like, it's, if you go down to the bottom, just scroll up a little bit more. Oops, I don't want that. And you'll see teams, and you can go to team color. And since this is white team, we want the white color. Where is the white color? White. Yes, that is why. It's right there. It's the weirdest space. Uh, you'd think it's right here, but that's institutional white. You have to click on this thing. Then turn off neutral, because that'll make it so that it's not really a team. Then we can just do that for every single one of them, except just make them different colors. Cause, so this is red team, so really red. Neutral. For this one, it is blue team, so really blue. And neutral. Well, not neutral. Yeah, and now we can close that off for now, and um, now we can just do a few things. So to make everything work, we'll need to go into here, and we're uh, right here. Where is it? Where is this on the team? Oh yeah, we need to go into the um, in here. Go into the launch button and local script. And here, instead of doing this, we're just going to say player.team.name. I don't know if you can just do dot team, but I'm just going to do dot name because when I was testing, it worked. So it has to be capital T because um, if it's not, then it'll just say it's nothing because capital T team is what the player's actual team is. So that uh, should be good. Uh, and yeah. So now, um, we can go into, 
uh, we're going to go into, oh yeah, the builds, uh, the build script. So we're going to op open up the build script and here we're going to do the same thing. We're going to change this to team dot name and that's good. But now we're actually going to create the world. So let's just do that. Let's just see how much time we have. It's already been five minutes. Wow. Okay. Well, uh, that means that this is actually pretty good timing. So to create the welds, uh, we're going to have to do a pretty simple weld script. What we're going to say is um, if uh, target, because the target is, well, let's just show you. So the target is the instance. So basically it's the block that we're hovering over. So when we create a block, we're hovering over a block. So like if I'm hovering over this one, like if I'm gonna create a block on top of this base part uh, and I click to create the part, it will see that I'm clicking on this thing and it'll create a block somewhere or where, wherever I clicked because of this script. So target will be, well, the thing that we clicked on. So when we first need to check if um, is if it is actually a block. So, wait, I need to add something to the blocks, which I just forgot to do. Um, need to go into objects, wood, need to add a string value. And this is actually gonna help in a few things in the future. So we're just gonna name it player and the value is going to be set to um, what the, well, who the player is that created that and that's going to help for a few things in the future which is going to be very good because we did that early because we we're doing it early on and now if we just go back into here we can do if target dot uh, parent dot player uh well let's do find first child player because if we don't do that then it'll oh oops then it'll try to find it and well, if we just do like dot player, then it'll uh, give us an error. So we have to do find first child player. So it won't give us an error. And now we can actually create the weld because now we know that all that works. So we can do a uh, local weld is equal to instant oops, instance dot new weld. Oh gosh, I said local, not physics physics stuff i said local <laughs> and now we can say well oh gosh weld why is that okay well that is weird but we can say dot part o and we're going to set this equal to the target so here we're going to say target and now we're going to set the part one. And basically, uh, what part uh, O and part one, well, part zero and part one, uh, are is basically, let's just create a weld real quick. Weld. So if we have a weld, it'll have part one and part, uh, part zero and part one. So basically part one is like, I mean, these parts are just like what the welds are. So it'll weld this and this together if we have uh, the base for one and, or the base for zero and water for one, then it'll create a weld between those. So now we're going to say, um, uh, block dot primary, oops, primary part, part, and basically, why we have to do dot primary part is because if we go into replicated storage and we go into objects, it's uh, a model, so we have, we'll have to get the primary part, which is root, because we set the primary part to root. So that means that that will work. And now we're just going to set the C frames of those things. So weld dot C zero is equal to um, target dot C frame in first um i don't have um 
I don't really know why it doesn't work, but if I don't do inverse, it won't work, which is very weird, because the only way that I've learned to do it is um, inverse. So I would not be the guy to tell you why or how, why you have to do inverse. So what am I doing target? Um, I'm going to say block dot primary part dot C frame in verse and it's lowercase I. I don't know if it can do, if it can do uppercase I, but how I learned it is um, lowercase I. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to set the weld parent equal to um, uh, do, 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 block dot primary part. Okay. So if this works, I'm going to be very happy because that was a long script. And I'm on white team, so... I can just build a little box. Just build a quick box. And it's not going to be a very fancy box. I don't think boxes can be that fancy. But it will work out. It's not going to be fancy, but it will work out. For some reason, that sounds like a quote, but it really isn't. Okay, well, that's a horrible boat. Okay, there we go. This is my epic boat that I that will get me to the end and get me some treasure, you know? Okay, play. Okay, well, these welded. Oh, they weren't touching. That's why. So these welded. But since this wasn't touching, they uh, welded. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, I was wondering why they weren't connected. But okay, that makes sense. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. So it works, actually. Because if we click play, let's just build a, build a more simple box. Just to show you. So, this is a very meticu meticulous process, <laughs> just building a box. I don't even know if I use that word correctly. Okay, well, let's just build our epic boat that will get us tons of treasure. Yay! Boom. Wait. Oh gosh, okay, okay, okay. Well, we forgot to change one thing. If you go into teams, white team is white. We forgot to change the colors. So click on red team, change it to really red. Click on blue team and change it to really blue. Okay. I'm very, I'm kind of mad at myself that I didn't remember that. I'm kind of mad. Yeah, okay, now, now it should work. Okay, that was a very big that was a very big box. I don't think we needed that big of a box. But you know, I have a big I I have a big um uh avatar, so this will work. This is the boat that gets people all the treasure. Yes. Uh-huh, all the treasure. And you see? It's all wet, welded. Uh, that's actually create stairs, because that's what we did in the first place. Yeah, let's create stairs. So we can just share the comparison. Okay, so at first it wouldn't work, like you would just break. Now, it stays together, yay. 
So hope you guys. Uh, <laughs> this is a horrible outro. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. Um, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.